Now, a ship attacked by Yemen's Houthi rebels sunk in the Red Sea. It is the first vessel to be fully destroyed as part of their campaign over the Israel-Hamas war. A senior Houthi leader said that he held British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his government responsible for the sinking of the UK-owned Rubima. He added that Sunak has a chance to recover the Rubima by allowing aid trucks into Gaza. Yemen's government had sounded the alarm of an environmental catastrophe unfolding in the Red Sea due to the sinking of the ship carrying more than 41,000 tons of fertilizer. This cargo ship, the Rubima, has now sunk after it was attacked by the Houthis last month, according to Yemen's internationally recognized government on Saturday. If verified, it would be the first vessel lost since Houthi militants began targeting commercial shipping in November. A government statement said the ship sank in the Southern Red Sea on Friday night and warned of an environmental catastrophe. The ship was carrying more than 41,000 tons of fertilizer when it came under attack, the U.S. military central command has said. The Houthis say they are acting in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. On Monday, a Yemeni government team visited the Rubimar, a Belize-flagged UK-owned cargo ship, and said it was partially submerged and could sink within a couple of days. The US military previously said the attack could significantly damage the freighter and caused an 18-mile oil slick. Houthi attacks have prompted shipping firms to divert vessels onto the longer, more expensive route around southern Africa. They have also stoked fears that the Israel-Hamas war could spread destabilizing the wider Middle East. The United States and Britain began striking Houthi targets in Yemen in January. In retaliation for the attacks on shipping in the Red Sea, Bab al-Mandab Strait and Gulf of Aden. For latest news, download the VON app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.